So today I'm going to talk about this uh, documentary that came out last year. It's called uh, Record Safari. And uh, basically it's about a guy who was hired by uh, the organizers of Coachella in the States to set up a record store during the event. And uh, the record store itself becomes, it looks like a real record store once they have it set up. You can see where the stage is at one end and people everywhere. This was closer to the end of the film. But uh, this guy has uh, 23,000 records and uh, he sort of knows what he's talking about. And uh, he was asked, uh, how many records do you need? And he said, uh, as many as I can get. And that's, uh, he said it with <laughs> authority, like, as many as I can get. So uh, this guy goes around the country visiting all these independent record stores and he's in and out of them and it shows him in and out of different stores around the country and uh, he's buying used records for the uh, Coachella, Coachella or however you say it, I don't know. And uh, I guess at one time his mother dated CCR's drummer way back in the day, way back, way back. So uh, this guy was hired to organize it and he goes around and he buys the records. So it shows him going through lots of independent record stores and they talk to the owners about how they survived through the hard times and what started them to uh, have a store and all that and it's quite interesting. So uh, a lot of record collectors are interviewed through the film and one of the questions, uh, some of the questions are asked are is what, uh, what's the first record you ever bought? Of course. And what's the first record you ever heard? And uh, what record changed your life? These are really hard questions. They're not hard, but they're really probing questions. And uh, reasons for collecting. Well, there's a, as many people as there is reasons sort of thing. And a lot of different types of people. As you watch the film, there's lots of different types of people that collect records. So there's not, it's not just designated to one type of person. So uh, another reason asked was why collect? And some people said it was a flashback to their youth trying to relive, you know, the glory years of your youth. Others say their parents collected, so they kind of got the bug from them, which my daughter is a collector now, and obviously I'm the cause. So some people collect for the music, and other people collect for the best record they can find, of their, or the best copy of a record, and possibly multiple copies of that record. And there's different reasons, of course, but there's sort of two of the main reasons. And uh, during one of the conversations, I guess Record Store was started in 2008, and it was for uh, independent, to promote independent record stores, because at that time, record stores were having a hard time because of CDs and all that stuff. So uh, Lenny Kay, is, uh, the guitar player for uh, Patti Smith, is interviewed, and he has a massive collection, of course. He's been collecting records for 60 years, and he's the one that started uh, Nuggets. He compiled the first one in 1972, so that was kind of interesting to, uh, to find out. So uh, this is a really uh, good documentary, if, especially if you're into record collecting, because basically that's what it's all about. I mean, this guy's digging through uh, record stores all over the place, and little, little towns, and uh, the city, and... I found it fascinating anyways, but uh, if you get a chance, pick this up. It's called Record Safari, and uh, it actually has side A and side B. Now, I haven't watched side B. It's more interviews with uh, record collectors, record owners, and DJs and stuff. And there's uh, some DJs uh, interviewed in here, too. And uh, it's all about records. It's all about records. So, so long. If you're on one of these, it's called a record safari. I've been on a few in the past.